Hello and welcome everyone to the lab view exercises. Today we have another exercise where we will generate a list of unique random integers in lab view. Which means that in this exercise we will create a random number which is quite easy in lab view but getting a unique list of random number is quite an exercise. So we will see this in exercise like if we write now if I run my program by giving an upper bound and lower bound uh, like upper value and lower value and giving the how many integers I want this program will give me all the unique integers within the given boundary or within the given defined space so for that purpose let's just open our new vi to see how this program will work so first of all what we need is we need a random number generator so we'll go to our block diagram and there we will find out a random number generator here which is right here so we can just create a control to give it an upper bound or any lower bound which means that uh, the upper limit or lower limit and then we will first create out our while loop so that it will uh, take a list of numbers and then we will also define how many unique numbers we want um, within the as in my control I can set I can set its representation as well by going to representation and integer 32 and then uh, the next thing what we have is to create a case structure and then what I will do is I will put the random number generator in the false case and then uh, I will initiate another loop that will decide whether the number is unique or not and within this loop I will use an index error function and now the next thing is to create uh, an empty array that will just start our um, array so I will just go to numeric and there I will find out this item in here and then I will connect it with my index array function. To initiate this index array function I will connect it here and then what I will do is after initiating I will pass the, uh, the output of this random number by comparing it with is equals to sign and this is equals to sign will be compared with the output of index array function and then I will use another condition in here or function if the output of or which is greater than or equals to the iterations in here the iterations should be equals to the numeric which we have um, declared in here like uh, total number of integers unique integers we can define as well and then i will connect this out with the input in here and then or and now this condition will be stopped so this was it for uh, deciding whether this um, array should be start or stop now the next thing to do is we can also define it as what is the array size but before that i will go to next step and there i will use another case structure within this false case such as i will put initiate or in insert into array function if it is true then what will happen is 
this array from here you go this array initiate function and this output will be connected with the outer loop and we will use a replace with shift register function of this array which means that uh, now an array of empty number is being generated and each time we have to insert a unique value within this array so what we will do is we will give this condition as true or false from here and uh, the output uh, will be come coming from this new element into sub array and uh, the false case will be such that it will be connected here and this false case will be this case will be connected directly so the next thing to do is now we can just now we want to control our outer loop the main loop so to control this outer loop that when should it stop we have to define when the total number of integers becomes equal to size so here we will see the array size when the array size becomes equals to something defined in here as total number of integers array size becomes equals to total number of in unique value integers then this loop should stop and still we are missing out something that what will be the true and false case of this structure so it will show this as this one and now our program is complete now we will create an indicator at the end in here this will give us a complete unique number of integers that we want let's say for example if i have an upper bound or lower bound of 0 to 10 or let's just say 2 to 10 and i want only three integers unique integers within the list and uh, three or let's say three and then I run my program I am getting a unique number 798 and if I increase these numbers pump these numbers to 8 uh, 7 so now I am getting all unique numbers within 2 to 10 it is not including 0 1 or above 10 it is just including 7 integers within 2 and 10 and that's how we can define our limits and we will get all the unique numbers and with no repetition within the array we can also control the array size by going to its um, so by creating its property node and getting number of rows change the number of rows to right change all to right and there we can connect it with total number of integers we want so this way if i run my program right now i will just only get the seven integers and uh, now if i increase these limits and uh, run my program this will create a nine integers similarly we can change the numbers and you can observe there is no repetition of the numbers between the unique array of the elements